Today we'll take a look on Airbus A320 uh, cockpit oxygen supply where we can find all the components and uh, I'll show you how to replace the cylinder. So let's take a look at it. To get access to oxygen bottle we need to uh, enter into avionic left avionic compartment through this door. Uh, once we open it, here is our oxygen bottle. Since it is uh, on the limit, which is uh, uh, above 1000 psi, we need to change it. So let's start with the preparation. So first thing first, we need to close the bottle. It's a long tread. Okay, once that's done, we can move to the cockpit. By the way, the buzzing noise which you can hear inside uh, is coming from devices which are called transformer rectifiers and to that we need to go on the other side they're over here tr number one tr number two unfortunately during a replacement of the oxygen bottle uh, it was necessary to keep the airplane uh, on so i was not really able to affect this uh, buzzing noise so that's why I will remove the uh, background sound and I will replace it with uh, some music. Sorry for that, but really, if you are uh, exposed to this uh, buzzing noise for a longer period of time, it can get very annoying. So thank you for understanding. And let's go back to a replacement of the oxygen bottle. Okay, we need to perform a bleeding of the oxygen system. So we need to wake up the airplane and we need to switch on crew supply which actually activate the oxygen regulator which is installed on the bottle. The regulator will open and release pressure into the cabin or into the cockpit. Once we have a pressure in the system we need to bleed that system and that's done thanks to oxygen masks which you can see over here uh, in this uh, airplane we have a mask for captain a second occupant first occupant seat and for co-pilot so um, we need to release this pressure by pressing the test button that actually bleed the line uh, from the bottle all the way here to the cockpit so once this pressure is released from the masks, we can move to the other side, to first officer, same. Yeah. Basically inside of those containers, you have a, a full face donning masks. I made a separate video about uh, donning masks, so take a look, it will be in the top right corner of this video or you can find it in the description of this one. Bleeding procedure is performed and actually you can see what pressure we have there over here on the ECAM. Uh, this is our cockpit oxygen and this is a you have even a warning or the caution regulator low pressure uh, and yeah it's zero. Now we can switch off crew oxy supply and I need to uh, pull CB and that one is over here. Pull the CB, put the collar on and since I don't need the power I'll switch off the airplane and we can continue on the bottle. Okay, basically everything we're all gonna need for this job is on this table and since oxygen don't like uh, uh, oil I will clean everything with ISO same with my hands and 
now I can start to work since everything is clean we are good to go So, first, over pressure. This is the copper ring which we're gonna replace. And as I said, that leads to over pressure line which is here to uh, lead the to lead uh, the oxygen in case of uh, overpressure event, either from the uh, reductor or from the uh, oxy bottle, it will lead this pressure overboard, and it will uh, kick out, uh, kick out this uh, oxygen discharge disc. That's one part. Now, this section, which actually lead from the bottle to a uh, reductor. Good. Now, plug. One. And here we have both blanking plugs. Actually, this one is open so again if there is overpressure the air, the oxygen will be released overboard bottle is uh, secured then before i will put it in the box i need to torque it but now we can release the bottle itself now we need small ratchet Good. This is one part. Now the top one. So, as I said before, this bottle provides oxygen for a uh, cockpit. So, uh, for the passengers, we have oxygen generators, which, uh, which, uh, creates the oxygen thanks to a chemical reaction. And uh, yeah, I think I have the video also about that. So link will be again in top right corner or in description below. Now the bottle is free to move. So let's take it off. This one is metal one, so it's a bit heavy. But nothing what you cannot handle. Oh. Okay. We can torque the spare the plug on the bottle which we removed. This is the one which we're gonna install. Again, metal bottle. Okay, new bottle is inspected. Slide it in. Okay, we have a light. So, bottle is on the place. Basically, we need to inspect these pads. If they're on the place, if everything is fine, we can connect it. And install this clamp doesn't move any more than this one. Again, this needs to be inspected if this rubber is on the place. 
whenever it is, we can place it on. And this section needs to be evenly tight. Why actually uh, the pressure on the bottle dropped? Uh, it's not because there is a leak, but a reason for, is, for this is that pilots, before each flight, need to make a test of the microphone, which is on the mask. And as well, if, um, if the oxygen is flowing into the masks. And they always, during this test, release a bit of oxygen. And uh, like this, they are slowly using oxygen. That's uh, the part of the job. Inspect if uh, every system works before flight, especially ones which uh, is here in case of emergency, like oxygen. So, based on that, we need to replace the oxygen bottle. It's not really often, but yeah. We have this check and need to be done. Now the torque. Good. Perfect. Now I need to measure the gap between plate Cool. Cool. Okay. Distance is exactly as we needed. Okay, and the top clamp. Perfect. Okay, bottle is secured. Now we can install uh, the overpressure line and reductor. Before we can install the stowage cap or the stowage for the caps. And we can pull out the protector cup for overpressure. That one actually goes into the stowage pouch. And now the and the supply line. That one have a stor storage port on the top. For installation of the line, so I'll take a fresh pair of gloves. Just in case. So. And place it over, gently torque it. Now the overpressure line, new copper ring, which goes on it. Gentle, gently tight. Okay, and it's time for final torque. Good. That's uh, one and the other one. And now the overpressure line. Good. That's uh, about it. Now we can pack 
everything in the boat. Okay. This one is secured. And now we can slowly open the valve. One. And now we need to wait a bit to let the bot bottle to become stable and then we can open it fully. A few moments later. And we can now fully open the bottle. Quarter back. Perfect. And now a leak check. As you can see, no bubbles, which is what we want. Cleaning. And we need to apply torque seal. Now we can move to cockpit. Okay, back to the cockpit and Let's wake up the airplane. We can close the CV. And we need to wait until uh, the airplane wake up. Because we need, of course, you can. Okay, this is the information which we actually want. Uh, you see that there is 1880 70 PSI which uh, is the same as on the bottle. Now, we need to switch on crew supply and the low pressure disappear, the information disappear. Uh, now we need to, again, switch it off and we need to release the pressure thanks to test port. And here we have it. We have a regulator low pressure, which means that uh, uh, regulator itself has no leak, and uh, we basically lost the pressure in the system. And once again, when we switch it on, it disappears. This is how we know that everything is okay. We perform the leak check, and yeah, our job is done. Uh, my colleague, uh, meanwhile, was doing everything perform duplicate inspection. Uh, since this is uh, part of the emergency equipment, it is mandatory. So he checked the torque value, he inspect the leak, and basically all what's remaining is um, all what's remaining is uh, paperwork. So now you know where you can find oxy bottle on Airbus A320 and how to replace it. And that means that we can. Switch off the airplane. Put everything in a normal configuration. So close the uh, panels and we can leave. Okay, everything's done. So we can close the hatch and can perform the paperwork. That's all about cockpit or oxygen system. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below. As always, I would like to ask you to don't use this as a replacement for a maintenance manual, but always use latest documentation released by a manufacturer. Big thanks to Austrian Airlines that they let me to record all these videos for you. Big thanks each and everybody for watching and especially to members. That's all from my side. My name is Tomasz. This was Aircraft Maintenance with Zeto and I'll see you on next video. Bye.